Hey, I wanted to show you guys something really neat, something pretty cool. I'll give you a hint. It is a connector. All right now, what I'm holding in my hand is a modern version of the connector, which is pretty much identical in appearance to the actual vintage version of this connector, okay? All right, what is it? What does it do? Anybody? Uh, well, let's hook it up and make it do something. See if you can figure it out from there. So what you're gonna do is you're just gonna unscrew these little screws here. All right, now you can just poke some wire in here. Any two wires, one wire, two wires. That's all you need, any two wires. So for now, I'm just gonna use some little test wires from a little electronics kit. All right, put that in, screw it up tight, no problem. Grab another one, throw it in the other side there, like so. All right. Hint, I'm gonna pull something out of this case. And I have a bunch of these. Do you know what it is yet? Anybody? Anybody recognize this yet? Now I'm gonna take this end of that thing that I just pulled out of the case. And I'm simply gonna depress either one of these. Very depressing. All right, depress it like so. It's gonna open a little mouth up. Pinch your wire right in there, right? Now to the other side. Pinch it like so. Drop your wire in, close it. It's that simple. Now look what I have here. I got you going now, don't I? Watch this, I'm gonna do something. Ooh, 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 what's this? See that? What's it doing? It's lighting up. Well, what good is that? What is that? It doesn't even make any sense, does it? Sure it does. All right, here's what's happening. Let me show you what's on the other end of this. Something I want to talk to you guys about. Looky here. This is a field phone. This is actually new. New as in new old stock. All right. This is actually from the 60s. Probably about 1964, I believe, for this one. And what I did to get that light was I rang this little ringer. Okay, look. And this is no batteries doing this, you guys. No batteries. There's just a little tiny flywheel in there. Little mini generator, so to speak. There's a few volts down the line. All right, and it lights this up. So now I have to start explaining what I actually have here, you guys. It's a field phone from the Vietnam era. This works with no batteries. No power required, which is what is so amazing about this and the technology behind it. So let's dig into this. This is fun stuff, you guys, all right? So laying that down, what do we know so far? We know that when I press this little thing, it lights up over here, all right? Now here's what's cool about it. I can, if I want, take another phone just like that. Hey, what a coincidence. I happen to have one right here. Okay, a little nice little waterproof case here you open them up looky here another one brand new old stock right here all right there's that end so watch this guys i'm going to take this little light off of here for a second just to show you what these do i'm going to take this little connector out real quick and just lay it here just so i can show you how these phones work i'm going straight phone to phone okay you guys remember you just press that down stick your wire in yoink there's one Press the other side, stick it in there. Yoink, there's two. As you can see, I have simply connected two wires. That's it. I'm gonna call, I'm gonna use this one. I'm gonna press this little call button, the one that lit that light up, and watch what happens when this one gets the call. Hear that? You hear it and you saw that little ringer indicator. Now I'll reset that by pressing the talk button, ready? Okay, so my phone's sitting here and all of a sudden somebody wants to call me, they're gonna press that little button on their phone and guess what? Mine's gonna ring. It's a little uh, adjuster for the volume right there from all the way down to off. Counterclockwise is louder, so it's gonna be loud like so. Or I can go quiet, a little ticky ticky, right? Or I can go to dead silence all the way down there and now dead silence. Matter of fact, if this was reset, the only way I'd know a call's coming in is that would trigger it, see? Look at that. All right, very cool, isn't it? All right, so let's turn our ringers back up. That one's up. All right, so now we've done the ringer. So this guy calls this guy. This guy, he answers the phone. He simply says, puts it up to his ear and goes, uh, hello, how you doing? Believe it or not, 
this is coming out of this phone. Very cool, let's reset their little ring indicators. Doink, doink. So you're thinking to yourself, well, that's real cool, I guess, if you're in the same room, right? Well, wrong. Here's another very cool fact about these phones. You see this little two-wire system here that I put in? Guess what? These things can go up to four miles. No batteries required. Four miles. So I can get four miles worth of wire and stretch out between these two phones, and they can communicate with no power, no batteries. How would they get four miles of wire well real simple military phone wire military comm wire there's a thousand feet right there alone there's another thousand feet right there you can buy this stuff in one mile two mile rolls and just roll it out you're gonna want to probably bury it or do what you got to do but you can roll this out that's pretty cool two guys can talk to each other you could see how you could use that in a survival situation right you know, maybe there's an outpost watching, can call back to the main camp. They answer and they're like, hello. And he's like, hey, a horde of zombies heading our way. And, it, and this guy's like, all right, we'll let everybody know. That's pretty cool. Up to four miles apart. All right. So you guys think that is so cool. Guess what? It gets cooler. Watch this. Watch this. I'm going to introduce you to another piece of this. Let's get these out of the way. Also from the Vietnam era. Oh, such a simple, simple thing. This is very cool to have. If you can get one of these, it's great. But this thing I'm gonna show you, you can make yourself. So I don't want you to think this is something super complicated. I'll show you how this works and you'll see how easy it would be to make it yourself. And again, it all boils down to this little guy. It's why I started out with this little guy. All right, you ready? Watch this, let's open this up. What is it? What is this? Oh, look at. Now this is a very nice specimen, actually. These are tough to come by, you guys. Now that you see what we're playing with, what do you think this is? Just loosen our little strap up here a little. All right, I'm gonna flip that little lever open and then pop it open. Oh, you guys recognize these, don't you already? Little doodads, more of them. All of these in here are vintage. So you're looking at 50, 100, 200, 350 bucks in little vintage connectors alone and then of course the box itself is going to cost you too if you want to get one of these uh, you can find them on ebay sometimes they come along less expensive if you see them grab one if not you don't need the box itself i'll show you how this works though so cool all right so the first thing i want to do is just kind of lock my lid open lock it into place say it comes with the little locks for it let's go right up and they just lock right there, all right? So now that stays open, that's all good. We'll put this new guy away and we'll just use the actual vintage pieces here, all right? This, my friends, is a telephone switchboard. Yes, it is. I know you don't believe me. It is a telephone switchboard and it's a good one. Watch this, okay? So here's what would happen. I would be sitting here at the switchboard. I'm the telephone operator. And I would take this guy from the telephone side and do what we showed you before and simply connect my phone. Two wires, very simple. I actually can use short wires if and I want to for this because you know what? I'm running the switchboard. I am the operator. There we go. I got my little two wires. Now, I'm just going to plug this in right here and it stands up. See this? Look at that. I plugged it in right there. But when I say plugged in, it's not really plugged in anything. All that is, is two little holes. That's just two little plastic holes. No connectors in there. It's not making any connection. All it is, is to, to hold my little connector. All right, just to hold it. Doink, I can just stick it right there, just to hold it. So that's me. Let's put me here. I am the telephone operator. I'm gonna rest myself right here. Out in the field, I got my outpost, let's say. So we'll put outpost over here at number one. Roman numeral one, I. All right, so we're gonna take our little connector here. We're gonna unscrew the little brass screws. We're gonna take our little two wires. Again, two wire system. All right, we're gonna poke that in there, tighten it down, poke the other one in, tighten it down. So now I got two wires in this connector, all right? I'm gonna just put that over here. Again, this isn't doing anything as far as making connections. I'm just sitting it here. 
that's number one and that goes to our outpost so let's say that's a thousand feet away or four miles away doesn't matter I'm gonna run that wire okay I'm gonna run it all the way out to my outpost for now let's just pretend we ran it way out but we're putting it right here instead so that you can see everything happening at once all right here it is this is four miles out and there it is now way out there I got Joe Schmuckatelli he's out there guarding the outpost watching for the hordes of zombies he's got his phone all right so we'll put that out here out at the outpost there it is and what does he do at the other end of that wire he simply connects his two wires to his phone if he would like he could run the wires through one of these first and get the light along with the ringtone, the little clicky ring. But for now, we're just gonna take the end of Schmuckatelli's phone and we're gonna connect it to the other end four miles away, and there it is. Now, four miles away, Schmuckatelli's all hooked up. What the hell, I got a bunch of these things. Here's another one. Here we go. Let's give this to Major Payne. All right, so we're gonna take two wires, Again, pop them in there, tighten them up, so simple. All right, that's Major Pain. We're gonna give Major Pain slot number four. Again, not making a connection, just sitting in two plastic holes to keep it upright. Why does it need to be upright? Show you in a second. All right, so we take Major Pain, we run him out, 1,000 feet, 2,000 feet, two miles, four miles, doesn't matter. We are going to hook his two wires up to his phone, and there he is, Major Pain's all set, all right? There they are, everybody's out there in their comfy field position. I'm monitoring the board. Nothing's gonna make noise. My phone, I can have my ringer on or off, but it doesn't matter because I'm not connected to anything. All right, I'm just sitting here alone. Everybody's just sitting here. All of a sudden, Schmuckatelli, Private Schmuckatelli on number one has a problem. So he's gonna ring us. Can you see it? Can you see it lighting up? All right, so I know that Schmuckatelli's calling from the outpost. Could it be a horde of zombies? I don't know. Here's how I answer it, all right? As the operator, I simply unplug myself and I will literally come over here and plug into Schmuckatelli's jack. Do you see that? Stacks right on top, look at that. Now, I'm talking to Schmuckatelli, just like before, phone to phone. Hey, what's going on, Schmuck? And he's like, hey, uh, just checking in, you know, doing my half hour check-in, everything's cool, no problems. And I'm like, all right, cool, that's all good, I'll see you later. He hangs up by just putting the phone down. I hang up by putting my phone down and simply disconnecting from Schmuckatelli. I put mine back here, just waiting for another call, and I keep my eye out. It's nighttime, Major pain makes a call over here to the switchboard. So the operator is going to pick that up. He's going to plug in to major pain. There you go. He's going to answer that. He's going to be like, all right, what's happening, major pain? Major pain is going to say, patch me in to Schmuckatelli over at the outpost. All right, hold on a second. Now you can just pluck both of these out and plug them in to the outpost. Get in there, you. And basically say, all right, you two are connected. Now he can just pull himself off and plug back in over here to just wait for a call. And these two are over here talking. When these guys are done over here, one or both of them is basically gonna just ring back like so, and that'll light it up and let the operator know that that call is all done. He can disconnect that now and throw everybody back where they go. And there you go. Now you have a small company of people that can speak up to, you know, six of them plus the operator. Or, here's another cool thing you can do. Grab another one of these. All right? Pop that guy open. Same old, same old. You have another switchboard. You can essentially run one of these from switchboard A over to one of these at switchboard B. And now you can ring a whole nother switchboard, a whole nother company of people. Now again, you got up to four miles with this without power. If this guy's over here is up two miles away and this guy is two miles away, that's it. You don't get four miles and then four more miles out of this. They do make the powered switchboards which can go up to 20 miles and powered phones as well. You can get 20 miles out of them. But for a basic setup, I mean, you can get a community set up with these quickly. Here's my kit all together. 
and my four phones. We got the two little switchboards. I got a couple spools of a thousand feet of comm wire there. Of course, we even got the manual, original manual. Right? So we come full circle back to this little guy here, which you're gonna want. And you're gonna want these because future videos coming up are gonna show you some really cool stuff based on this technology and this technology. Specifically, this microphone. This is a carbon microphone or a carbon speaker, really. They're both carbon speakers, okay? And so we're gonna do some little science experiments and we're gonna actually make our own carbon speakers where we can make a system like this on our own. And now you can see where something like this might come in handy. Again, you don't have to have this board. You can just drill holes in a piece of wood and make these work. You don't even need holes, actually, at all. You could just lay them on the ground. Doesn't matter. Here's the number if you would like to get the manual. This is your SB993GT. This is your original vintage U184GT. This is the little guy right here. This is what makes it fun. Your military comm wire here, just regular two wire, telephone wire, comm wire. All right, and then I got my four TA1 telephones over here with their carbon speakers, carbon microphones. And we're gonna learn all about that. We're gonna do all kinds of cool stuff based on this technology. All right, so as you can see, with no power whatsoever, if everything was completely black, you could still set up a nice communication system, get a nice little uh, community going, a nice little neighborhood going, camp, whatever you want to call it, and you can get communications up wired. Now you guys didn't really think I'd let you go without actually showing you what this sound-powered microphone works and sounds like, did you? Come on. So here's my plan. Here's what I want to do. I'm going to take this little wireless microphone off my lapel and I'm going to stick it right there on that earpiece. And as you can see by the amount of wire I've pulled off that spool, I dragged another phone as far away as I could and still be in my house. This is all the way down to my garage and I'm on the second floor. Okay, other end of the property. So let me test it out. I will, of course, edit the time it takes me to walk there, but I'm going to put the microphone right there on that earpiece. I'll call this phone and then uh, do a little talk and see uh, what happens. All right, here we go. All right, and what you gotta do to activate this is there's a little button on this side. Now this is the ringer on this side, and this button on this side is the PTT, or push to talk. All right, so you push it just like a CB, you start talking. All right, so I will edit the time it takes me to get down to the garage, but off I go, and let's see how this thing works. Two very boring minutes later. Hello, and thank you for calling Rockness. Our hours are Wednesday through Sunday, 6.30 a.m. Just kidding, you guys. Hey, it works though, doesn't it? Amazing, up to four miles. Now, granted, it's not super loud, but for four miles, no power, no batteries, sound-powered microphone, come on. This is really pretty cool. I hope you've enjoyed this little video, and I'm not going to waste this audio opportunity. I'm going to use it to tell you to go ahead and visit www.rockness.com, R-O-C-K-N-U-S.com. Check out all the cool stuff we got. We are purveyors of the finest in EDC, covert tactical and survival gear. Thanks again. Bye now.